Well, hello everybody. Thank you all for being here today at uh, the Thea stage at Campus Party. And um, thanks to our stage manager, Janet, who um, was so friendly to invite me today and who took care of me uh, so well when I arrived yesterday. So today I want to talk about um, crowdfunding for startups. And um, yeah, let's get started. So crowdfunding, what is it about? Well, the, sh the short story is many people each spending a small amount, raising an overall big sum. Well, this is nothing special so far. The long version is a little bit more complicated. And um, this is what I, what I want to explain now. I think you all know this picture, um, the Statue of Liberty in New York. Um, in fact, it is the history of the uh, Statue of Liberty is linked closely to this, the concept of crowdfunding. What many people don't know is that it almost didn't make it across the ocean, as it was a gift from the French to the American people. But luckily for the uh, New Yorkers, and I think luckily for us too, there was um, Joseph Pulitzer, the owner of the newspaper The World, who um, started a crowdfunding campaign to finance the site and um, the pedestal the statue would sit on. So, in sixth month of his uh, crowdfunding campaign, he collected over $100,000 back in 1884. Well, $100,000 sounds not that much, but $100,000 in um, 1884 is, would be worth $30 million today. So um, quite a big sum. The interesting fact about this campaign is that um, more than 120,000 micro donations were worth uh, less than a dollar. So you can see there was a pretty big involvement with the crowd back then. Well, Joseph Pulitzer had something most people don't have. He had his own newspaper to uh, raise attention for his um, crowdfunding campaign. So luckily for us, um, back in the 90s, the internet was invented. So now everyone got the means to start his own crowdfunding campaign. And you can do this um, via so-called crowdfunding platforms. Some of you may know um, the New York-based uh, platform Kickstarter. Um, here you can see the landing page of Kickstarter. Um, they are pretty successful. You can fund projects of a vast diversity, ranging from uh, CD productions to movie projects to your fashion show, uh, nearly everything. There was even a guy uh, financing his movie about crowdfunding by crowdfunding by a Kickstarter. So, how does Kickstarter work? Here you can see one of their most um, successful projects. Um, it's the um, eWatch uh, Pebble. The Pebble uh, you can connect to your smartphone. It can display, of course, the time, but it has many other functions. So, they did present it in a pretty cool way, and they had a um, an initial funding goal of $100,000. As you can see, they raised much more, up to more than $10 million. So, how did they manage to do this? On Kickstarter, as an initiator of um, a crowdfunding campaign, you can pre-sell your products. As you can see, if you back the product with uh, $99, you received one um, jet black pebble watch. So, in fact, Kickstarter has a pre-selling reward-based crowdfunding model. So, so far we have um, discovered two forms of crowdfunding. The donation-based crowdfunding, 
which was the case with um, the Statue of Liberty. And um, reward-based crowdfunding, which was the case with Kickstarter. There's another model that is called lending-based. Uh, it's basically individuals giving peer-to-peer -peer credits to each other. In my opinion, the most interesting model of crowdfunding is the equity-based crowdfunding model. So this sounds a bit technical. This is why we call it Startup Financing 2.0. What do we mean by this? Well, let's think about how uh, startups were financed traditionally. You got the famous three Fs, family, friends, and fools. The problem is not everyone has um, a rich father or a wealthy friend, and not everyone finds people who are foolish enough to invest in your startup in a very early f uh, stage. So um, it's quite difficult if you don't have the, uh, the right contacts. You got business angels. Business angels are wealthy individuals who invest amounts between 10,000 and 50,000 euros usually. The problem again is it's hard to find them as there are not that many in Germany. We got uh, venture capitalists. Venture capitalists usually invest in a very late stage um, in startups and they take a lot of control rights, they take a lot of your shares, so not every founder wants them in his company. We got um, public funding, but the problem about this is um, many uh, public funding programs have a regional focus or um, yeah, a, a concrete uh, branch or uh, sector they are focusing on. So this leads to a funding gap in Germany between 50,000 and 200,000 euros. But in contrast to this fact, we have about 5 trillion euros just lying around on bank accounts, earning a small rate of interest um, in Germany alone. So we thought, why don't we put this money to use? Why don't we finance innovation with it? Why don't we support entrepreneurship? And why don't we give um, the opportunity to invest in early stage startup uh, for everyone? So this is what we created. Um, this is a screenshot of our uh, website, Seedmatch. And uh, you can see one of our startups. It's called Music Logistics that um, developed um, a music distribution um, network for, for the internet. Pretty cool uh, project in my opinion. So let's get into the details. How does it work? So imagine you having this great startup that, let's say, revolutionizes the um, energy sector. Well, you have a prototype, you have a team, and now you want to start into the market with a big bang. Of course, you think of Seedmatch. You send us your, uh, your, your concept, a short summary, a presentation, and um, we'll have a look on your financials and your business model. In the next step, we are optimizing, uh, optimizing with you your presentation on uh, Seedmatch. This includes a video, your business plan, your financials, and a uh, short investment story, which is basically um, in a, an executive summary of your uh, concept. So, if everything went right, your startup goes into a preview phase on Seedmatch. The preview phase usually lasts three days. So, um, to give you an example, how this can look like, um, I want to show you a real project. Well, yeah, this is not the preview phase anymore, sadly, because the startup um, honestly went live today into funding, and as you can see, um, it's already uh, funded full. But basically, you can see a, uh, an, an embedded YouTube video and a short text 
of um, this startup. So this is what you can see in the preview phase. Everything else, like business plan, and even yeah, the investors are not displayed. So, yeah, here we got a uh, picture of the project in the preview phase. Um, as you can see, no, no status, no investors, and you can see the story. So. When your startup um, goes live into the funding phase, um, the users on Seedmatch are able to invest amounts from uh, 250 euros to 10,000 euros in your startup uh, for a given period of time, which is most times 60 days. So, as you, um, as we have seen, normally the um, the period of time is much less than 60 days. Um, honestly, the startup I presented um, managed to raise a sum of 100,000 euros in less than three hours today. Yeah, so with the power of your crowd, you can start up. Right. But crowdfunding is more than just capital. It is presenting your idea to a broader audience and um, sharing it with the crowd. So you can use it to, um, to create marketing power and to boost your startup into the market. If you have a um, finished product, you can um, increase sales and your revenues um, by a crowdfunding campaign via Seedmatch as you get so much attention, um, you, uh, the, the people are cl clicking on your site and in the best case, they are bu buying your products. So you can make your shareholders your customers. You can create networks by interacting with your investors. Imagine every investor has a network of 200 friends on Facebook and he, uh, he tells every of his friends of this cool startup he just invested in. So there's really a big uh, drive that can evolve uh, from a crowdfunding campaign. And um, of course, we uh, use our channels to promote, to promote your startup um, in the mass media. We got uh, publications at Frankfurt Allgemeine Zeitung or Spiegel Online at the um, tech magazine T3N and the usual startup media like Deutsche Startups. But um, this is not all, this is just a glimpse of our publications. And of course we use our um, social media channels. We got uh, 1,400 uh, Twitter followers, 3,000 Facebook fans, and um, yeah, a pretty big group on the German network Xing. With this concept, we were um, the first on the German market. We started in uh, early August of uh, 2011, and since then we had some substantial accomplishments. Well, yeah, we uh, just celebrated our first, uh, first birthday on 1st of August 2012. And um, let's see what's, uh, what happened in this year. Yeah, today we funded our 20th uh, startup successfully. Um, we raised over uh, 1.75 million euros for the startups that were presented on Seedmatch. We created a user base of 8,000 potential investors. So if you present yourself on Seedmatch, you pitch in front of 8,000 possible investors. Of course, there were some big success stories. Um, Smarkive developed a cloud archive for your documents. So imagine, imagine you never have to touch paper again and they combined it with a pretty uh, intelligent semantic search. So you don't even have to take your documents anymore. And in December 2011, we funded this startup in 60 hours, which was, in our opinion, pretty ex um, exciting. But this was not the end. 
The startup Lingo King developed a um, translation service for businesses and uh, individuals. And they raised um, their 100,000 100, euros in five hours and 30 minutes. But it's still not the end. EasyCard um, built a solution for you insuring your smartphone very easily over the internet. And they raised in March 2012 100,000 euros in 87 minutes. So, which startups are um, most suitable for uh, crowdfunding on Seedmatch? Well, of course, you need a unique selling proposition. This means you need something that makes you special, that makes you, that, that differentiates you from your competitors. You need a product or service innovation, and in the best case, you got a good story to present to our users. We are searching for uh, trend-setting technologies and um, a passionate team, of course. What we need for an uh, equity investment is a scalable business model, so the investors can earn substantial returns on their investment. And um, we think B2C, so business to customer models, are suited best for a crowdfunding, but um, we, we funded B2B models as well. So, what kinds of um, models do we really want? It's first movers and game changers. It's, of course, disruptive concepts, which uh, I hope to find here. Um, it's new crowdsourcing models and sustainable uh, technologies. So you see, um, each of these has something that we can tell to our users, which is, in our opinion, one of the biggest uh, thing about crowdfunding. You need something to present so um, the investors can reach you and connect to you. So when is the uh, best point of time to start a crowdfunding campaign uh, on Seedmatch? This is the uh, battle ver of, of idea versus beta. So in our opinion, it's not good to um, present an idea on, on Seedmatch because first, an idea you can copy and you can touch an idea, you can connect to an idea. And you, and an idea is missing some securities which uh, investors are focusing, is fo focusing on. So, in our opinion, if you de develop a beta and you want to start with a big bang into the market, this is the best phase to uh, finance yourself um, on Seedmatch. So, you're a startup, send us an email with your executive summary or a short presentation and um, together we can change the game and democratize venture capital. So to give you an um, impression on how startups are presenting themselves on Seedmatch, I want to show you a video of the startup we funded today. Um, it's in German so I'm sorry for everyone who doesn't understand but I Hope you get what what I mean. Ich bin Sven Bläse, Geschäftsführer von Honestly und bin für das Produktmanagement verantwortlich. Honestly macht Kundenfeedback so einfach wie möglich. Und wie das funktioniert, seht ihr im Folgenden. Wollen Sie wissen, was Ihre Kunden über Sie denken? Denn diese kennen Ihr Geschäft am besten. Sie machen bei jedem Besuch wertvolle Erfahrungen und teilen diese mit anderen. Bisherige Ansätze wie Papier-Feedback-Formulare oder eine persönliche Befragung sind umständlich für den Kunden und für Sie teuer und zeitaufwendig. Öffentliche Plattformen sind nicht wirklich an Sie gerichtet und Mystery-Shopper repräsentieren nicht Ihren Kundenstamm. Doch jetzt gibt es Honestly. Ehrliches Feedback direkt von Ihren Kunden. Einfach Aufsteller 
sichtbar in Ihrem Geschäft platzieren und Feedback per Smartphone von Ihren Kunden erhalten. Gestalten Sie Ihr Profil individuell und erfahren Sie genau das, was Sie wissen möchten. Antworten Sie Ihren Kunden direkt auf das Handy. Werten Sie Feedback in Echtzeit grafisch aus. Und das alles, ohne diese Informationen veröffentlichen zu müssen. Nutzen Sie Honestly, um genau zu erfahren, was Ihre Kunden mögen und nicht mögen. Treffen Sie Maßnahmen und verbessern Sie die Zufriedenheit Ihrer Kunden. Honestly steigert die Servicequalität und Kundenzufriedenheit. Das Produkt haben meine drei Co-Gründer und ich über ein Jahr lang eigenfinanziert entwickelt. Aber die stellen sich am besten selbst vor. Mein Name ist Sebastian Wenzel und ich bin für die Entwicklung verantwortlich. Das Komplexe an unserer Lösung ist, dass Endnutzer über native Apps die mobile Webseite Widgets und SMS-Feedback geben. Dieses wird einheitlich vom Manager beantwortet, analysiert und ausgewertet. Mein Name ist Matteo Freudenthal und ich verantworte den Bereich Sales und Marketing bei Honestly. Dazu gehört die Gründung strategischer Partnerschaften, die Etablierung der Marke Honestly sowie die Gewinnung von Kunden, von denen ich euch zwei jetzt vorstellen möchte. Mein Name ist Tobias Schmidt vom Badisch Brauhaus in Karlsruhe. Wir sind eine große Hausbrauerei, haben bis zu 1000 Sitzplätze und bieten gastronomische Vielfalt auf vier Ebenen. Der größte Vorteil von Honestly liegt für uns darin, dass das Feedback direkt bei uns ankommt, nicht mehr über irgendwelche Umwege in entsprechenden Bewertungsportalen. Wir können sofort auf irgendwelche negativen oder positiven Ereignisse reagieren. Das ist für uns der größte Mehrwert. Sehr positiv für uns als Unternehmen ist die einfache Benutzerführung. Wir müssen nichts installieren. Wir loggen uns online auf der Homepage von Honestly ein. Es geht am gleichen Tag nach der Registrierung und können direkt auf die Statistiken zugreifen und sehen, wer uns bewertet hat und können mit Gästen kommunizieren. Also bei Honestly sehe ich natürlich den Vorteil, dass die Kunden ein bisschen mehr Zeit haben, sich darüber Gedanken zu machen, was für ein Feedback sie geben können. Und dass wir eventuell mit diesem Feedback natürlich auch ähm, neue Kunden ansprechen. Ähm, denn wir von Nordsee sind äh, ja noch nicht in der Altersklasse 20 plus, sondern eher woanders angesiedelt. Und ich denke mir mal, vielleicht können wir damit auch neue Zielgruppen erschließen. Für mich als äh, Franchise-Nehmer der Firma Nordsee ist es einfach wichtig, an dem Kunden dran zu bleiben, auf die Kundenwünsche einzugehen. Und deshalb ist diese Idee ähm, mit Honestly einfach auch eine Sache, die man weiter fortschreiben kann und auch sollte. Und ähm, ich bin der Meinung, dass es Erfolg hat. Mein Name ist Pascal Klein und ich bin dafür verantwortlich, die operativen Prozesse zu koordinieren und zu optimieren. Seit Juni 2012 unterstützt uns ein Exist-Gründerstipendium mit Fördergeldern im fünfstelligen Bereich. Damit haben wir die Möglichkeit, dass wir eure Investitionen in uns zu 100% in Marketing und Kundenakquise investieren können. Gemeinsam mit euch werden wir die Servicelandschaft durch eine einfache und schnelle Kommunikation verbessern und Honestly zur de facto Lösung für nicht öffentliches Kundenfeedback etablieren. So yeah, this is one of my favorite projects um, and I hope you got a good expression, uh, impression how our startups um, are presenting themselves on Seedmatch. So, and before I forget it, we are hiring, we are searching for a new business analyst. So, if you want to join our team, just send us a mail. Thank you, and now I'm looking forward to hearing your questions. Thanks for the presentation. Um, who's doing the valuations for the companies and how is it? I mean, this is, you said this is equity funding. So how does this work? Yeah. Um, valuation in such an early phase are, um, as you probably know, pretty difficult. So it's always a question of, um, yeah. We, no, let me start over again. First, we use um, the VC method. So we look at it, how can we create a um, substantial um, earning for the investors. But then, of course, we have to talk with the founders. And um, yeah, it's a question of how good you are at, um, at yeah, using your 
uh, no, not Im imagination. It's a question of how you. Yeah, no, my English is failing. Please excuse this, but um, we have to talk with the founders, and this is basically it. Yeah. But essentially, it means that you are doing the valuations together with the founders. Together with the founders, of course. Yeah. So there's no mechanism on the platform um, to create a valuation by. Um, by demand or something like this. Do you document how the valuation has been created or? Well, no, we make an offer to our investors. So maybe I can show you this. On this example here, you can see they received a um, valuation on approximately 1.6 million. And of course, valuation are market prices. So we're not doing this alone. If there are angels or VCs investing in uh, the same round with uh, seed match uh, crowdfunding investors, um, we um, use their uh, valuation sometimes. Would I know that uh, others have invested too? Uh, because there's nothing there in the in the protocol uh, in the in this. Yeah, uh, you can see um, a list of recent investments. So you have the option to um, present yourself anonymous or to use um, your full name and even you can... No, that's not what I meant. You said that, uh, if you've got third parties uh, like, like angel investors, yeah. something who also invest in the same company, would that be shown on your platform? Yes. Okay. This is um, a fact we mentioned in the business plan. I have a question about uh, unsuccessfully funded startups. So, how is the impact on marketing for, for those startups? I mean, well, luckily we didn't have this case. Um, of the 20 startups we financed yet, um, every startup um, was successfully funded. Successfully means um, they reached um, a lower bar barrier of 50,000 euros. So the can contracts are valid, and. Um, the money is going to the startup. Um, this is why I can't answer this, uh, answer this question, but of course, there's a risk on um, the marketing, uh, on losing your image. Yeah. But um, I think you can, um, it's, it's not that high, this risk. How high is the shit? Uh, how, how high is the share which the uh, crowd usually gets? So, next try. How high is the share the crowd usually gets in the uh, startup? Yeah. Um, so, you can calculate this um, by looking at the um, valuation and by using the sum the startup has raised. So um, with 100,000 euros, they have, I don't know, the, the crowd has like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it, have it in my mind, but it's about five to 6% now with this valuation. But um, yeah, the, the share the crowd gets is all about the uh, valuation. As I understand, it's created for German, so it's a local project or some startups from abroad can also apply. And if they are applying, they need to create the video in Germany, on German language or in English, so it's possible. Well, the problem for us is um, that we have to act by uh, pretty strict um, rules and laws in Germany. So at the moment, we're not able to fund um, foreign startups, but it's definitely on our agenda. Okay, thanks. I'm wondering, there's also a possibility of starting with crowdfunding and then in a second step going to VCs. In that case, the company's more evolved, startups more evolved, and probably gets a better evaluation in the VC round. I'm not quite sure if this option of doing both crowd and VCs in one round it has an advantage? Well, um, I can answer your question in, the, in this case. It, it works. We, had, um, we have two successful um, startups 
that received um, a financing round by a VC. Um, one I can name is, um, let's look it up. It's one of our first startups. Um, yeah, Blue Patent is a crowdsourcing platform for um, IP and patents. And um, they received a, um, a VC round by a um, London-based VC. And then there's another, another startup um, that is contracting at the moment with a, a German VC. Congress, Florian, excellent presentation. Um, so you mentioned that the equity share is normally 5%, right? And no, it's... Um, well, depending all, on the valuation. Depending on the valuation, right. Sure. So uh, did you guys enter some kind of ratchet agreement or anti-dilution clause, or is this equity share stays there in further rounds of investment, like the case he mentioned? Well, at the moment, our contracts have an um, anti-dilution clause, but um, we are working at the moment on new contracts, which will be a bit different and where there's not going to be a dilution clause. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed the part, but um, what do I get back uh, if I spend money on your platform? Well, yeah, of course. Um, you get a share on the company. So if the, co if the company gets more valuable, your share gets more valuable either. So um, after a given period of time, most times five years, um, you can uh, end the contract with the company and cash your money out. Because there are other other platforms where I don't get back anything. Yeah, this is um, this is different to other platforms, um, and the model is uh, different. So I uh, talked about reward based, like Kickstarter. So you give, uh, you get a nice uh, watch or something like this, and here you get a real share. So it's a real investment in the company. No more questions? Then um, thanks everybody for being here. And um, have a nice day and a nice campus party as well. <laughs>